Electricity is essential to our life. It illuminates our homes and powers our household appliances. The world's electricity grid runs on AC, short for alternating current. The technology made its breakthrough at the end of the 19th century, thanks to the Serbian physician Nikola Tesla. He won the so-called War of the Currents against his opponent Thomas Edison, the inventor of the light bulb, who campaigned for direct current, or DC. At the time, alternating current had advantages over direct current. It was easier to produce and could be transformed and transported over long distances. And it was the ideal form of electricity for many industrial machines. Today, though, it's believed that 20% of energy could be saved if the grid switched to direct current. New technologies also help overcome the initial downsides of DC over AC. The Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich is already working on developing tomorrow's electricity grid. The trend is there, and we have the necessary means and components. Today's technology allows us to use direct current, so it will come soon. Multinationals, such as the Swiss-Swedish technology company ABB, are also interested in the change. After all, this would be a moneymaker. You're going to save 10 to 20 percent of your energy. You're going to reduce your footprint by 10 to 20 percent also. ABB is working very hard in bringing that solution to the marketplace. Andreas Vanner consults homeowners on how to save electricity. Today, barely any electricity can be saved with DC devices unless you unplug the power supply. More and more of our devices run on direct current, such as computers and laptops. Or here, for instance, halogen lamps, the TV or wireless phones, iPads, routers, WLAN, and these lamps here. All this requires transformers, which waste energy. When you unplug a transformer, you can feel how hot it is. That's all wasted energy. This wouldn't happen if direct current came directly out of the socket. Direct current not only saves energy for consumers. More and more new energy production technologies produce DC. Solar plants, for instance. In order to get the electricity into the grid, it has to be transformed. Again, that's a loss of energy, which could be prevented if we had a DC grid. While for some switching to direct current is a major energy saving project, for others it promises to be good business. In the meantime, it seems that the war of the currents is not yet over. <laughs>